here we go. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of eBooks. I'm sure you've heard of one-on-one -on -one coaching in terms of like products to sell and products to make money with. But the issue with those two types of products that I found is that eBooks are typically only like 15, 20 bucks a piece. And they take a long time to sit down and write on a keyboard. And it's a lot of work to format all those and make it look all good. And it's like, wow, it's a lot of work to put together an eBook and you only get 15, 20 bucks out of them. So the work to reward ratio is like not that great. There's a lot of work and, and low reward up with eBooks, unless you're just selling mass volumes of them, right? Then they pay off. And with one-on-one -on -one coaching, you might think, oh, one-on-one -on -one coaching is way better. But then with one-on-one -on -one coaching, you're tying up your personal time for say a hundred bucks or 200 bucks an hour, or maybe 300 bucks, even 500 bucks an hour. You're trading time for money. One-on-one -on -one coaching isn't that all great either. And the, the best type of course that I found is, the, is a course that offers something very linear, something very objective, something very tangible and measurable at, by the end of the course. Like tonight, for example, this workshop today, I'm going to be walking you through about 30 steps from start to finish, how to create your own 30 day challenge so that you can sell your own 30 day challenge. And the reason I want to do that is because look, when I first got started, I tried the ebook thing. I tried the one-on-one -on -one course. I tried the one-on-one -on -one coaching thing. Ebooks didn't sell that well. If they did, they wouldn't bring in that much money. And the one-on-one -on -one coaching just tied up all my time. When I switched to 30 day challenges, when I started selling a 30 day challenge, my, my raw food 30 day challenge that sold so easily, so effortlessly. And it made me easiest money ever. So tonight I want to walk you guys through how to do that. Is that something you guys want to learn how to do? Yay or nay? Post in the chat. Yes or no. Do you want to learn how to create a 30 day challenge? And if you do, I see a lot of hell yes is coming in. I see a lot of yay, yay, yeah, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Cool. Type what kind of 30 day challenge? Like what's the niche going to be? What's the, what's the kind of offer? Like, for example, I did a 30 day raw food challenge. I've also done a, a I've also done a weight loss challenge. Someone's saying self-love, decluttering. Uh, we're saying go vegan, right? We're saying uh, gratitude, giving thanks for life, getting lean, in, getting rid of inflammation, something plant-based, awesome. So if you're getting a business going, sweet. Now, if you're not clear on it yet, that's totally fine. We're gonna talk about how to get clear on that. But for now, just un it's good to just understand how it all works. And then look, once you know how to create a 30-day challenge, couple things can happen. Number one, yeah, you can do it yourself. Yeah, you can go create your own Jedi Master breathing challenge. You can create your own percussion challenge, your own wild herbs challenge. Sure. But what's also really cool is once you do it, yeah, you can do it yourself, but you can also do it for other people. And you can create a 30 day challenge for someone else and then get a commission on all the sales that they make. Okay. So that's pretty cool. But the third thing you can do when you learn how to create a 30 day challenge is if you're good at it, you can make good money at like you're making like, you know, three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 a month with it. You can then turn around and just teach people how to create a 30 day challenge, just like I'm doing right now. And from there, you'll be able to, you'll be in a very, very powerful position in order to grow a business, just teaching people how to create a 30 day challenge. There's some cool, you know, side benefits from learning what you're going to learn here tonight. Okay. This is very, very valuable, very, very profitable evening here for you guys tonight. I'm going to get into it right now. Uh, and if you have any questions, just save the questions for the end or post them in the Q and A box. Do you guys see, all, do you guys see the Q and A box? Type yes if you know what the Q and A box is. Type yes if you know what the Q and A box is. That's where you post the questions. Okay, cool. And remember, turn on your chat settings so it's panelists and attendees. That way everyone can see what you're saying. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, who tonight is not for? Tonight is not for you if you're just looking for a get rich quick scheme. You just want to get that, you know, that silver bullet. You want to, you want to be a one trick pony. You're like, oh, I'm just going to do 30 day challenge. I'm going to be set for life. Look, learning how to create a 30 day challenge is like learning how to do a really good uppercut. Okay. In boxing, you got different moves. You get the jab and you get the, you get the hook and you get the uppercut. Learning how to, to, to create a 30 day challenge is just like learning how to do one move. It's a single move. It's, it's the uppercut. It's the 30 day challenge. You're not going to get rich just by knowing how to do a 30 day challenge. Let's be real. Anyone promising you you're going to get rich just by knowing one thing is it's ridiculous. It's like knowing one move in a boxing fight. You're going to get crushed if you only know how to do a uppercut. You got to know how to actually box, right? And so to, <coughs> excuse me, to create a successful business online, you need to know how to get traffic. You need to know how to make sales and like we're talking about tonight, how to create an awesome product. So tonight is all about the product. In terms of the, the traffic and the sales, if you stay to the end, if you stay to the very end, I'll show you how you can get two awesome in-depth guides for free on how to get all the traffic you ever need and how to make all the sales you ever need. Sound good? Does that sound good? We cover in-depth how to create the product. And at the end, I'll give you the guides on how to get the traffic and the sales for free. Cool? Awesome? Sounds good. Sweet. So also this tonight is not for you if you're looking for overnight success. This yeah, you can build a 30 day challenge in a day. You can build it in a couple of days. Tops, it should take a week to build tops. So if you're taking more than a week to build this thing, you're doing something wrong. And it can take a day to make your first sale for sure. In fact, I want to show you how you can make your first sale within the first 24 to 48 hours, but it takes weeks and weeks to grow your account into the thousands. Ideally, you're getting at least a thousand followers a month. 
but that's a month. That's four weeks. So if you want to get a thousand followers and you're at zero right now, it's going to take four weeks for you to get a thousand followers approximately. There's ways of doing it faster, but most people have a good amount of challenge just getting a thousand followers a month. But again, don't think this is going to be instantly overnight. Yeah, you can make it overnight. Yeah, you can make a sale overnight, but to make consistent sales and turn this into your full-time business, this is going to take some weeks and it's going to take some, some real focus. Okay. Here's how I put all the pieces together to create my first 30 day raw food challenge funnel, my first 30 day raw food challenge, which then went on to allowed me to make $5,000 a month. My very first business online ever was I had a 30 day raw food challenge. And then in the back end, I was offering some private coaching to people as well. So one-on-one -on -one private coaching just to a select few people. It's 500 bucks for uh, a month. And I had five of those people. So I was doing 2,500 bucks a month with the raw food challenge, 2,500 bucks a month with the coaching. All in all is 5K deal. And the coaching was really effortless. It was just going over the 30 day challenge with them on Zoom privately for an hour once a week, really, really not much at all. And very, very valuable for them and very, very profitable for me at the time. Okay? I was living in Thailand at the time, I had basically no expenses and making good money online. Who here wants to make 5K a month in the chat? Post me if you're looking to make 5K a month. Yeah, okay, sweet. So what we're about to show you tonight is gonna be how to do exactly that. There's gonna be about 30 steps involved. So make sure to take notes, type, make sure to type notes, okay? If you don't take notes, this is a waste of time. Absolute waste of time. Cause you're gonna go one in one ear out the other. Okay. So here we go. Uh, this is how, this is how I did it. And it all started with understanding like why I needed to do it. If before, cause I could have done this, I could have done this 10 years ago, but I just never understood why I should do it. And so for me, like the, the why really is the biggest piece of all understanding why I, I needed to do this. I need to have a strong enough reason to why, because a strong enough why is going to conquer any how. It's really easy to get bogged in the how. It's really easy to get bogged in, oh, I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know how. But look, if you really, if you really want to do it and you have that desire to do it and you have that reason why, you're going to figure it out no matter what. Tonight's just the fast track. Tonight, we're going to spend the next 45 minutes or so going through this. It's the fast track. I can show you, I can show you the how, but unless you have that why inside of you, it's not going to happen. So you got to get clear on, on, on your why. And for me, my big why, my big noble why was I needed money. I needed to make some money. What more can I say? I could have worked at McDonald's. I could have worked at the drive through but I was like, I don't want to work for anybody else. I want to work for myself as an entrepreneur. I need to make money. And I was living in Thailand at the time and I didn't have any income and I didn't want to fly back home to cold Canada and start getting a job there. That would be like going back home with my tail between my legs. Now, nothing wrong with having a job. If you have a job, that's totally fine. If whatever, that's totally cool. But I personally did not want that to happen to me. If it had to happen, sure, it had to happen, but I didn't want it to happen to me. So I was like, I'm going to make this work no matter what. And so again, it was either like make money doing this or go get a job. And so that was my big reason why I was like, I do not want to work for someone else. I need to make money figuring this out. And so and the other reason why is because I love teaching this stuff, right? I love teaching. I love teaching not just what I'm sharing with you here, but I mean, I love teaching in general. I love teaching. I've always loved teaching things like skateboarding, beatboxing, how to roll joints when I sold joints. Even when I was like selling weed, I was teaching my friends how to sell weed. Like type in the chat if you love to teach. Say teach in the chat if you love to teach. I would just love teaching things. If I like figure out like a new exercise, I'm like, oh, I'll teach everyone this new exercise. I was teaching people how to do squats and push-ups and I just love freaking teaching. So if you love to teach, this is for you. If you don't like to teach, you're just here to get some money quick. You can bounce. This is only for you if you love to teach. Uh, and I hated the idea of going back to school to get a teaching degree so that I could go and teach a generic topic. Like that was not what I wanted to do. Uh, and since I had been raw for a while, I've been eating a raw food diet, a raw vegan diet for a while. Type raw in the chat if you eat a raw vegan diet or even a high raw vegan diet. Shout out the raw foodies. I was eating raw vegan diet at the time for a bit. Maybe I was like six, seven years into it. And I felt like I was ready to finally just teach people what I knew. I was already making some YouTube videos at the time. People were watching, people were subscribing. And then I was like, well, if they're already watching my videos, why don't I make a video course? Um, and since I tried and failed in the past, you know, to do the recipe ebook thing, and the ebook took forever, it only sold for like 15 bucks. Um, I knew I could put together a 30 day challenge in, in less than a week. I just had to get clear on what to do and then freaking do it. And I knew I could charge at least 47 bucks for it. So I could charge like three times as much as I was charging for the ebook. And it was going to be easier to do and, and easier to sell. I did. Okay. Now who's ready for the exact step-by-step -step procedure right here? Who's ready for the exact step-by-step -step procedure? We got a lot of raw foodies in the house. Wow. 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 All right. All right. Let's get into the exact procedure. So step one, this is, and this is what I did. What I'm about to share with you is not, I'm not recommending you do any of this. This is purely what I did. Some of the things I did were wrong. Some of the things, in fact, I'll make sure to emphasize, do not do this, but I'm just going to share with you guys, be totally transparent with what I did. Okay. And then we can discuss what actually to do, but here we go. Number one, I asked my followers at the time, I was like, Hey, would you guys be interested in buying a 30 day raw food challenge course from me? If I was to put it together, 
I just asked. That's step one, ask. You don't know if you don't ask. That's step one, ask. And I did this via Instagram story. I did it via, maybe, maybe a story. Maybe it was just a post. I'm not sure if they even had stories back then, but I know I asked it on Instagram. I know I asked it on YouTube and I know I asked it via email. I just, and then Facebook, I just asked my audience, hey, would you guys be interested? Okay, that's step one. Step two is to get confirmation. They said, yes. I was like, well, duh, but I just confirmed my, subs my suspicion, really. Step one is to ask. Step two is to get confirmation. They said yes. I was like, okay, let's do it. Third step for me is I outlined. I took pen to paper. You guys know that paper actually exists still? You can like touch it and open it and smell it. Like it's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's not all pixelated. It's like legit you and you. So I took notes. I outlined what my course is going to be all about. I outlined all 30 videos I need to film. Okay. Just, just the ideas, roughly just the ideas. And the way I did this is I got clear on, okay. I was thinking, well, what video should I make? What video should I make? And I thought about it. Wait, if I only could tell people 30 things about a raw food diet, what 30 things would those be? And I just wrote them down in order of, of importance. Like first one, you got to have the right mindset. Step two is you got to get rid of all this crap out of your house. Step three is you got to, you know, understand. I think I even talked about why power in that, in that course. So just in order, I just, in order, I just wrote down all the things I would teach them. Okay. I outlined it. The fourth thing I did is Underneath each of those outlined headers for the course, I also then put three bullet points for each. Okay, so if the video topic was go grocery shopping, my bullet points would be make sure you stock up on dried fruit, make sure you stock up on frozen fruit, make sure you stock up on fresh fruit. And the fresh fruit, make sure it's both ripe and unripe. Because if you just get ripe fruit, you're screwed because you're gonna have to go shopping again tomorrow. And if you just get unripe fruit, you're screwed. You gotta get a mix of both. So that was my bullet points, right? three to four bullet points for each. Rosa, you can watch the replay at the end if you want me to go back and talk about the other steps. We got to get through this. That was the fourth point. It's bullet points. By the way, that's some really good advice right there, by the way. When you go grocery shopping for raw food, get the fresh stuff, but also get the ripe and unripe type of fresh stuff. Okay. The cupboard, your kitchen should be full of, full of fruit. The fifth thing I did is I built a funnel. Okay. I built a funnel and I built it with, uh, in fact, I use ClickFunnels, but you could, you can use a different software if you like. I, I use personally use ClickFunnels. You can get a free account at tedcarfree.com and I'll give you a free 14 day trial there. That's what I used to build my funnels. And, uh, by the way, if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you what, if you want, do you guys want my notes? At the, if you stay to the end, if you do just type notes, I'll just give you all the notes I'm sharing right now at the very end. Okay. Okay. You guys want the, okay. But you got to stay to the end. Promise. Promise. Cool. Sweet. So, well, now you guys just got rid of my link guys. If you want a free 14 day trial of the funnel I, software I use is right there, tedcarfree.com. Next, once I built my funnel, and, and I, the only reason I built my funnel was to create a wait list because I, I hadn't done the uh, course yet, but I also didn't want to just hide in secret and be like, oh, I'm just going to build this in secret, right? I, I wanted to say, okay, I'm building a 30 day challenge. Here's the funnel, go sign up for the wait list. I got people sign up for the wait list, wait list, wait list, wait, wait list. Now I was able to promote something all month long. Nobody can accuse me of being salesy. Cause I'm just saying free, 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 join a wait list, join a wait list, join a wait list. You get, you're going to be first in line to get that 30 day raw food challenge. People signed up. It was awesome. And then that, I mean, that is the sixth step is to promote. I, I promoted this, I promoted the dickens out of this thing every day on Instagram, every day on Facebook, every day on YouTube, every day via email, just sign up for the wait list, sign up for the wait list, sign up for the wait list. You cannot be afraid to promote guys. There's people to this day that who still never know I ever had a 30 day raw food challenge. In fact, Lisa, my, my good friend, Lisa Raw Food Romance, she's got an ebook that she promotes every single day in every single post on Instagram five times a day. And yesterday, someone DM'd her and they're like, hey, uh, do you have any ebooks for sale? And if you do, like, where's the link? And she replied back and she's like, well, if you go check any single one of my posts for the last like two years, you'll see it's in the caption. Good. People don't see all your shit, even if you post about it every day. Keep posting, keep posting, keep posting, keep posting, keep posting. Do not be afraid to promote your stuff. It's the only way people are ever going to find out about it. Okay. It's not mad. You're not just magically going to create a course. People are mag magically going to buy it. It's like ongoing. You don't avoid spamming. You spam, but you do it intelligently. Okay. You spam intelligently. You spam with value. Like for example, how many times did you guys get emails from me to come tonight? How many times? One, two, three, four. How many? Four, five. I would have done more. I should have done more. Shame on me. I should have done more. Right. In fact, if you guys only got like four or five, I probably sent like six or seven to the other people who hadn't signed up. So for those who didn't sign up, I would send them even more emails. Once you guys signed up, I kind of toned down on the, on the uh, emails, but who cares? Cause it's, this is good stuff. This is like going to change your life for the better. So I don't care. I'm not, I'm not afraid to um, promote. You can't be afraid to promote. That's step six. Step seven. Once I was promoting the crap out of it, then I got clear on like the locations that I wanted to shoot the video in. So I wrote down like five locations. I was like, okay, there's that park. 
And then there's the other park and there's the kitchen and there's like my bedroom and there's like the living room. And then maybe we can do one like at that other park or something. So I got clear on like the different locations. In hindsight, looking back, if I was to do this again, I wouldn't go location scouting. I'd probably pick one location and just shoot the whole thing in that location. Um, If I was doing like a cooking challenge, sure. It's going to take place in the kitchen, obviously. Um, But if you're doing any other type of challenge, like if you're doing a fitness challenge, you should probably be in the gym, right? If you're just doing purely informational stuff, like how to eat a raw food diet, you can do it all in one spot. You don't need to you know, pick five different locations. That was a lot of work traveling to these different locations. So in hindsight, I would not I would have just picked one location. The eighth thing I did, step eight, is I hired a filmer. In fact, I hired my friend to film uh, the videos for me. And looking back, I definitely could have just filmed them myself. It's like as easy as setting up a webcam and just talking like I am right now. But I figured I needed to be super high quality, super HD. So I got like an expensive camera and you know, just shot with that and got him to make sure everything was recording. And it was so, so unnecessary. It's complete overkill complete overkill. You can use green screen if you want. You just got to, next step is to, is to, is to film. Okay. That's really what it is. You can get a film or do it yourself. I would do it myself personally. Or if you have like a brother or a sister or a friend that wants to come over and shoot for you, then that might be helpful to get some B-roll. B-roll is always pretty cool. B-roll is like the footage you put over top of just you talking. So it's not just you talking. Um, and you can also just share your screen and, 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 and just, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Like if you're just to share your screen, you just record on Zoom, hit share, and then boom, here's your course. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the, the steps. Here's number one, ask. Number two, get confirmation. Number three, outline, bullet points, funnel, blah, 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 blah. And there's your course. As far as how long each video should be, it's as short as possible. Like you just got to get the point across and you got to get good at getting the point across. It's a skill. Some people will ramble. This is why we have three bullet points, okay? And what I said about going shopping, going shopping. It's like you get dried fruit, you get frozen fruit, you get fresh fruit. Boom. Cover those topics as quickly as possible. Move on. You don't need to ramble. You don't need to fill space with fluff. You just answer the damn question. Give them some cool examples. Make sure they fully understand it. And then you move on. Okay. Uh, So two minutes to 10 minutes is probably going to be average. Uh, Next is I got my same friend to film. I got him to edit for me as well. And I could have edited myself. Super simple. You literally like start the video when you start talking and you end the video when you end talking. There's not much crazy editing to do. It, people are not paying for crazy edits. They're paying for insane value. They're paying to learn something. Type learn in the chat if you've already learned something so far here today. We're like nine steps in. Learn something. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. And this is insane because this stuff to me is like, I've, I've known this stuff for so many years. I'm just like, I'm not going to talk about it because people know this stuff already. I'm like, no, Ted, you got to get over yourself. They probably don't know all this stuff. Even if they know some of it, it's a good reminder. And look at you guys have all said, learn. That's crazy. Uh, like that's awesome. You guys are, you guys are learning something here already. So awesome. Um, let's get back to it. So the, the 10th thing I did step 10 is once we got it filmed and once we got it edited, you know what we did next? We did what you've got to do. We took the footage and we put it in a Google Drive folder. This step is step number 10 and it's called safekeeping. Store those files on a Google Drive folder. Safekeeping. You want to create two separate Google Drive folders or two separate Google Drive accounts for safekeeping because you just filmed 30 freaking videos. You got to make sure that they're safekeeping. You can't lose them. So I had one on an external hard drive and I also had one on a, uh, on a Google Drive. Okay. You can have multiple Google Drives as well. Just store that. Make sure it's safe. You can even upload them to YouTube as well as an extra backup. Keep those suckers. Because if you lose them, man, you're going to be depressed for weeks. Okay. Because you just poured your heart and soul into that. So step, step 10 is create a safekeeping for them. I use Google Drive. Uh, from there, what I did is I uploaded them all to Vimeo. And I used Vimeo because Vimeo is like a really good looking player. It keeps things really HD. But in hindsight, honestly, I'd upload them to YouTube. I wouldn't even use Vimeo. Like, yeah, you could use Vimeo, but there's no point. Just use YouTube. It, it, I, I, I've, I've been parts of $10,000 courses and they upload their videos on $15,000 courses and they upload their videos to YouTube. And I'm like, if I just paid 15 grand for this course and the videos are on YouTube, why would I upload mine to something else? Just use YouTube. It's totally fine. It's, everyone understands how to use it anyway. Upload them as unlisted to YouTube. Unlisted to YouTube. Once they're all on YouTube, this 12th step now is to add all those videos to an email automator. Okay. So at the time I was using, uh, uh, at the time I did my 30 day raw food challenge, I was using this platform for my email automation. It's called Aweber, but now I use Active Campaign. Both are good. Active Campaign's a little bit more advanced. If you want free trials for them, you can click the link or copy paste the link that's in the Zoom and you get a free trial. So that's what I use for my email automator. And I just pop the videos in there. 
and I create, you know, day one, day two, day three, day four, emails all up to day 30, put the videos in, set the automation so that when someone opts in for the program, they get the emails one day at a time. So in case you're wondering, how do they, how do they get the email? How do they get the videos? Once they sign up for the 30 day challenge, is like a membership site or how does that work? You can do a membership site if you want, but it's so much easier just to say, Hey, here's one video at a time. So day one, they get email one day two, they get email two. every day. They get a new email from you. So it's really easy for them. They can store you all in like a folder in their Gmail. And if they say, Hey, I missed video number six, they email you where's video six. You just email them back with the link and say, Hey, here's video six. And since you put them all in a Google drive folder already in case at the end, like, Hey, where are all the videos in one place? You can say, Hey, here's the Google drive link. Boom. Now they have the link to all the videos all in one place. And if you're thinking, but Ted, if they're in a Google drive folder or if they're on YouTube, can't they just share the videos? Yes, they can. But guess what? If they create a separate members account with a username and password, can they share their username and password? Yeah, they can. And they do. People do it all the time. Anyway, you're just saving them the extra hassle and you're saving yourself the extra hassle having to put together a membership site. Just give them the dang video. Do you guys care by the way tonight that this is on zoom and it's not on like a private members area? Do you guys care? You don't care. So why should I, if you don't care, then why should I? The only reason I would care is if I'm being like paranoid or something, oh, 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 but, 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 but people are going to, people are going to get this free information. You want people to get free information. And those who pay, they pay attention and actually get results. And you know, you build goodwill with them. So it's all good. Anyways, that's the 12 steps, the email automation. The 13th step is to integrate that email automator with your funnel software. Or if you're not using a funnel software, you might be using PayHip or something, then you'd integrate it with that. That way, when people go and buy from you on the funnel, or they actually go and buy from you on PayHip, then it sends a message to the email automator and the email automator is like, hey, we just got paid. Let's send this person the videos now. So that's the 13th step is to integrate. The fourth, 14th step is to set it up so that you can actually paid. You might want to switch around numbers 14 to 13 there. You might want to set it up Stripe first, but we're not, we haven't even launched yet. Don't worry at this point in the, in the checklist. Okay. But step 14 or 13, whatever you like is to integrate with Stripe, uh, connect, connect, create a Stripe account and connect Stripe with ClickFunnels or PayHip, whatever you're using. See, as you can see, I connected to Stripe. Stripe is just a payment processor that collects credit cards. It's a free thing and they take like 2% or something on every purchase, maybe 2.9% on every purchase. So if someone pays you hundred bucks, you only get paid $97. Stripe takes the other three. Connect that with uh, ClickFunnels. And then you want to test. You want to test it to make sure that it works. And wahoo, I made my first sale by doing this. My very first sale, my course came from me. Okay? When you get that feeling, your first sale, even though, even though it's from yourself, it's just like, ah, feels good. Feels good, even though, it's, even though it's from yourself. So the next step, step 16, halfway there. I created a Facebook group, a private Facebook group. That way, when people join the 30 day challenge, they actually have community to interact with. And I didn't want to do this at the start. I was like, oh, screw Facebook. I don't want to do it. People were like, hey, where's the group? Where's the group? Where's the group? It'd be really cool if there was a community. And I was like getting so many people asking me about it. I was like, okay, hey, well, I should probably do it. And I did it and people loved it. People started posting pictures and saying, hey, here's my, here are my dates and here's my raw food and here's my smoothie and here's my weight loss and here's my skin before and after. It was epic. It was a great way to, to, uh, to really build community and really uh, get people uh, excited about what, what everyone else is doing. The next thing I did is, and again, we haven't launched at this point yet. So don't worry, we're just building things in the background. The only thing we've launched is our wait list. We're promoting that every day. But number 17 is I created a survey, a welcome survey for the members. So when they joined, the very first thing they got was an email from me saying, hey, congrats on joining. Could you please fill up the survey to let me know how I can best serve you? Okay, so welcome survey. 18th thing I did is I promoted it again like crazy. But this time, this time, you know what was different when I promoted it? I could actually get paid. I could get paid this time because now everything was set up. My Stripe was set up, my server was set up, my email automation set up, everything's set up, I'm good to go. The videos are filmed, everything's up and running, ready to go. So I promoted the dickens out of it once again. Here's where it gets good. I set a deadline for it. I said, this challenge is starting on June 1st, whatever the date was. I think it was June 1st or something. Starting June 1st. If you want to be part of this, you got to sign up before June 1st. So I promoted, I promoted, I promoted, I promoted, I promoted. Okay? And Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, email. And sales trickled in. A few, a few sales trickled in. And I was like, how come they're just trickling in? I thought this would be just going bonanza. Right? I, thought, I thought everyone's going to sign up. But no, they just trickled in. Like a sale here, a sale there. I was making maybe a sale a day or something, but it wasn't like extraordinary. Especially at 47 bucks a pop. It wasn't like big, big money. And then I'm like, okay, well, I got to get more people like in the door. 
And I can't do it by saying buy something. So I use the freebie funnel method. And the freebie funnel method, the way this works, is super cool. What you do is, here, I'll draw it for you. So you got SM, that's your social media, okay? This is where everybody lives. On social media, instead of sending people to a page where they buy your program, I didn't do that. I mean, I tried, but it didn't really work that well. So that ended up in being a sad face. What I did instead is I sent people to a freebie, okay? And this freebie was, it was just a free ebook. I called it... Uh, the seven secrets to raw food success. Free book. This went crazy. People downloaded this like no tomorrow. It was awesome. People download like dozens and dozens every day. And as soon as they got the freebie on the next page, I offered them the course. Okay. I offered them the course. And then that's how people started buying a lot more because they could come into the freebie. They got the freebie. They're really happy. And they're like, oh, wait, what's this 30-day raw food challenge? That sounds awesome. It sounds exactly what I need. Now, the secret to making this work really well is your freebie and your 30-day challenge need to be congruent. They need to be congruent. What's the word? What do they need to be? What do they need to be? Congruent. Good, 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 good. Okay, sweet. People are paying attention. So from there, I got more sales, like way more sales. Now, because I'm using the freebie funnel method, I'm like, wow, this is way easier. And then what was also cool, guys, check this out. This is so good. This next part is so good. What about all the people that didn't buy the 30-day challenge? They got the freebie, but they didn't buy the 30-day challenge. What about them? Well, because I got their email, I was able to follow up and follow up and follow up and follow up every day until June 1st. I could follow up. And so I'd email these people and I got a few more sales coming in. And I just, the, the step number 21 is to promote again, hardcore, especially near the deadline. Okay. Promote hardcore during the deadline. So I promoted like crazy leading up to June 1st. And what I found was that most of the sales, like more than 50% of my sales came on the final day in the final freaking 12 hours. Like that's when all the sales came in. So I was like kind of bummed out this first month. I was like, oh, it's not doing, it's doing well. It's pretty good, but it should be doing better. Like how come it's not doing that well? No one's really buying. And I was promoting and some sales were coming in. Sure. But I was like, they're just not more as many as I want. And then the last freaking 12 hours of the month, it was like, bam, 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 bam. We're sitting at home. And I was like, I was going to go out that night. And I was like, I can't go out. Like, this is insane. I'm getting all these freaking sales coming in. I was living at, um, I was in Thailand at the time and I just was like, my mind was being blown. Like, what the hell's going on? Like, did they not get the other emails? No, it turns out, as Stacy says, people procrastinate, right? It's human nature. So that's when those sales started coming in, like big time. And then what I did was I was like, okay, well, it's been 47 bucks. Uh, June 1st is here now. What do I do? And I didn't want to shut it off because I was like, well, people still might want to sign up. So what I'll do is I'll just double the price. I'll just make it 97 bucks. Okay? So I didn't mention anywhere on video that it was 47 bucks. I just said, go buy the 30 day challenge. And on the checkout page, it said 47 bucks. So, cause no one had ever heard about $47 on the day of like once June 1st came, I just, or yeah, June 1st came. Then I went and I changed the uh, price to 97 and then bam, another sale, bam, another sale. I was like, holy crap, people are still buying. Bam, another sale, bam, another sale. Got like another four sales that day or another, another six sales that day. So an extra 600 bucks on the freaking day, just because I upped the price. Here's the deadline. People don't care. They'll, they'll buy it anyway. So that was step number 22, a price increase. On the deadline of the day, up the price. Let people still buy, but just up the price. People will still buy. I've done this before myself. Certain internet marketers, they have these programs. It's 97 bucks this week or 297 next week. And I'm like, meh, I don't think I need that. And then I watch the video again. I'm like, oh crap, that's actually really good. I really want that. And I go back to buy it. It's like 297. I'm like, I saw it at 97 last week. Now it's 297. I bought it anyway, because... I really want it. So number 23, the step number 23 is now that I got people in the group, now that I made my sales, you got to interact. I was interacting with people in the Facebook group. I was adding them, I was interacting with them, I was communicating with them, getting to know them, building relationships with them, answering their questions, interact, interact, interact. That was, that was the 23rd thing I did. The 24th thing I did is once I'm interacting with them and once I've built a relationship with them, near the end of the challenge, once they've been getting all the videos, I asked certain members about their experience and I got testimonials. I just got testimonials. I said, hey, how was your experience? Oh, what's going on? Test, test, test. Mike's good. Mike's good. I just asked them, how was your experience? And they gave me cool testimonials. And this is back in the day. I, I, I didn't know the power of video testimonials. So I only got written testimonials. But looking back in hindsight, I'd get a video testimonial. Really easy to get video testimonials and really powerful to do. So make sure you get video testimonials. We can talk about that at the end. If you want to ask in the Q&A, we'll get to all questions at the end. But uh, yeah, testimonials for the win. That allowed me to have like, it allowed me to like look legit. Cause like, look, people have already bought this. Here's what they say about the program and written testimonials. They can come across as so fake. 
And so despite getting good testimonials, they weren't video testimonials. So again, in hindsight, I do, I do video because I could have just written them, you know, whatever. Um, so that's the 24th step. Now, what's really cool is to, to the way I was able to make twice as much money with this 30 day challenge was at the very end, at the very end, I offered everyone a bonus session, a bonus training, free bonus training on how to do, I forget what it was. Maybe it was like how to stay raw in the winter time or something, or how to lose weight faster. I'm not sure what it was, but I offered a bonus training. And at the end of the bonus training, I made an offer. I said, Hey, I have five coaching spots open. If you guys want to work privately with me, we can work together for a month. It's just 500 bucks. Boom, those five spots got filled like that. Because this whole past month, I just spent interacting with them and working with them in the group and then getting videos from me every single day and they want to take this up a level so they buy coaching from me. So I sold an extra <clears throat> five times 500, 2,500 bucks worth of coaching at the end. So the, the, the secret though is to make sure that again, that coaching is very congruent with the actual challenge itself. Okay? And it needs to, and what you can do, this is super, super good. What I'm about to share with you is super, super good. So what you do is during the 30 days, you ask people, constantly ask people, interact with people, ask them, like, what, what are you struggling with? What issues are you, what issues are you, are you experiencing the most? What's really holding you back from getting faster results? And really, what results do you really want? Over these 30 days, you've got to be like a scientist, right? You've got to find out what they're struggling with and what they really want and what's holding them back from getting that thing that they want. So what do they want and what's stopping them from getting it? And then when you do your bonus training pitch at the end of offer coaching, you frame the whole coaching around getting this thing that everybody wants by eliminating this thing that everyone's struggling with. And boom, you have a winning offer. Because everyone's like, oh my God, like I'm struggling with that and I really want that. This is perfect. Let's sign me up. So that's how you do the pitch at the end. But you got to make sure you you give like crazy value the whole month and as well during your bonus session. So the, the 26th step now is to repeat it. Do it again the next month. Do everything all over again the next month. Promote, 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 promote. You can even, you got to actually start promoting mid, you have to start promoting to your new people mid 30 day challenge. So Halfway through your 30 day challenge, you got to start promoting for the next one. Otherwise you're going to do it like every other month and that's not going to work very well. So you need to get a system going. So it's like halfway through the month, you start promoting the next one. And by the way, you don't have to do 30 day challenges. It could be a 21 day challenge. It could be a seven day challenge. It could be a 14 day challenge. Um, it's just 30 day challenges. People really value because they feel like, wow, it's like 30 full days. It's a full month. Like imagine what I can accomplish in a month, right? And so people love dedicating you know, months to things like they want to dedicate June to cleaning out their house or dedicating October to bulking up or dedicate December to, you know, giving to the homeless or something. So third, and you can have themes too, for each, for each one too. So if you're doing like a 30 day raw food challenge, wintertime might be like the 30 day winter raw food challenge. And summertime might be like the 30 day raw food weight loss challenge or summer body, you know, challenge. So you give themes to it. But people really love, you know, signing up for, for months. Like this is like the June challenge. This is like the May challenge. This is the April challenge. I, I bought the domain raw Vember to be raw in November. So, hey, join the raw Vember challenge. Hey, be raw for the month of November. Then what I did, then what I did with all this money I was making at the time, I didn't know what to do with it. I was living in Thailand. Didn't have much need for much money beyond, you know, being able to pay my rent and buy some fruit, which is really cheap. Uh, I then took the money. And I created a fruit festival. I created the Canada Fruit Fest, first ever Canada Fruit Fest. And that sold really well because I knew how to use funnels. I knew how to market. I knew how to do deadlines. I knew how to promote. I wasn't afraid of being spammy. I just promoted the heck out of that. And it was super successful. We sold more tickets in the first week of Canada Fruit Fest than any other fruit festival in history had ever sold in their first week. Like it was the biggest launch ever. Very, very successful in terms of launch numbers. But then something really bad happened. And about one week before the festival, forest fires like erupted all throughout the whole area, throughout the whole um, Okanagan Valley. And we got smoked out and like really smoky. And then like 30% of the people asked for their money back because they couldn't come. Like we can't come in the smoke. This is like horrendous. My baby can't breathe this. My children can't breathe this. Like, we need our money back. So we had to refund those people. But the bad part was that not refunding, that's fine. But the bad part was that we'd already spent the money because we like we got this money. It's a week before the festival, let's spend it by musicians and fruit and venue and, you know, decorations and all this stuff, the money's spent and they're wanting a refund person after person every day, new refund request, new refund request. Like, what do we do? What do I do? I'm footing the bill. So my partner and I, at the time, we agreed that we're going to split half the profits, 50, 50, but there was no profits. It was the opposite. So then we're going to split the debt. He didn't have any money to split the debt. So I had to eat the entire debt myself, 30 K in debt biggest amount of debt I've ever been. It's worse than being broke. I went from being rich enough to put together a festival to now being $30,000 in debt because I'd spent money that had to now be refunded. It was brutal. But because I knew how to funnels, 
I went back to doing funnels, went back to doing courses. And I ended up making so much money, I mean, gone back to doing courses and going back to doing funnels, that I was able to not only pay off the 30K within two months, but I went and made enough money to be able to put on the same festival again the next year. Put it on again. I didn't want to kill the festival because it was such an amazing time. Everyone had the best time of their life. I didn't want to ruin that for everybody. So I worked my ass off to make the money back and more and then put the festival on the following year to keep the festival alive. And then this year, COVID came, so there's no festival this year. Yeah, Amanda. Amanda was, uh, was at that festival. What's up, Amanda? So now what I do, this is the, the, the 30th step, is now I teach other vegans how to create courses, ebooks, coaching programs, like a 30-day challenge. So those are all the steps, including like how to go off track and how to get back on track. <laughs> so who here, I'm curious, show of hands, who here learned a lot today? Me, 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 Enrico, Casey, Camille, Allison, Nicole, Emmanuel, Stacy, Javon, Lewis, Hector. My friend had a imaginary friend in elementary school named Hector. It was actually his pen. He had a pen named Hector. Pen was his friend and his name, pen was name was Hector. When I see your name, Hector, I think of my friend's pen. So it looks like everyone learned a lot. That was awesome. But here's the real question. Here's the real question. Who here feels confident that they can now go put together their own 30-day challenge? Yeah? Okay. Well, who here is actually going to put together their own challenge? Type definitely me if you are definitely going to put together your own 30-day challenge now. Definitely me, definitely me. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Well, here's the next question. Who here wants to work on this this March and sell it in April? Type April if you want to sell this starting April 1st. April, 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 April. Okay, wow. You guys are like committed. Wow. Okay. So next question is if you want to sell this, make this in March and sell it in April, who here wants to make at least 30 sales in 30 days? Type 30 if that's you. You want to make 30 sales in 30 Look at you guys. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, 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 okay. Well, you guys are crazy. Who here, who here wants to work on this together? Type together in the chat if you want to do this as a group. Together. So we're not all on our own, hiding in our corners. Here on Zoom doing it together. Yeah, <laughs> together, together, together. Okay, yeah. Like being be doing stuff together is the ultimate. As humans, we are social animals. We're designed to thrive as groups. You know, that's how we that's how we survived in the in, in nature. Do everything as a group. So the, the 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 last question really then is who would who would like me to to help you put everything we just talked about, all the 30 steps, into action? How would you guys like me to actually help you do that? So it's not just like, yeah, fend for yourself, go for it. It's actually like me helping you every step of the way. Reviewing everything, checking over thing, making sure everything's like your T's are, what's it called? T's are crossed out and I's are dotted. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sweet. So I've put together a 30-day coaching program. Any guesses what it's called? I put together a 30-day coaching program specifically for this. So the next 30 days, we're going to work on this together. But any guesses what that challenge is called? What that coaching program is called? Just give you a hint. 30-day coaching challenge? Good, good guess. Close. It's called the 30 30 30 challenge. The goal is to make 30 sales in 30 days with a 30 day challenge using the 30 step checklist. Okay, and that 30 step checklist, you can get it done in faster than 30 days. It does not going to take you 30 days to make, but the goal is to make 30 sales in 30 days with a 30 day challenge using a 30 step checklist that I'll go over with you. Here's what's included in the box when you sign up for the 30 30 30 challenge. First off, you get the checklist. You get all 30 steps clearly laid out with video recordings of each step so you never need to guess what to do next. Okay, this is also going to include a quiz to determine what niche should go into and what your what you'd be best suited to actually offer, what you'd be actually best suited to sell in depth, like what should actually go into the program. In addition to that, you're also going to be getting Zoom call. This is where as you're going through the 30 step checklist, you may also need, hey, I need Ted to review this. I want Ted to check this out. I have a question for Ted. So with these Zoom calls, we're going to be going live every Saturday and every Sunday. Who's here? Who here is free on the weekends? Type weekends if you're free on the weekends, because every Saturday and every Sunday, we're getting on Zoom together. Okay, everyone's free on weekends. Sweet. So if you miss a Saturday, we got Sunday. If you miss a Sunday, we got Saturday. Plus, it gets better because Saturday and Sunday, we're going to do a lot of interaction, a lot of, you know, nitpicking and reviewing and practicing and everything, making sure everything works, make, make sure everything's good. But we're also going to be creating content together on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're going to get on together. We're going to be on Zoom for three hours together and we'll be creating content. We're going to be on webcam. We're going to be creating content. We're going to be filming. We're going to be editing. We're going to be typing. We're going to be doing everything together on webcam. So we're doing this together as a group, guys. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday for three hours each day. 
right? Now, in addition to the checklist, in addition to the Zoom calls, I mean, is there anything else we really need? How about I give you guys three of my best funnels already pre-built, ready to go. Pre-built website, you literally one click install it. In fact, I can show you a couple. Of, do you guys want to see a couple of examples? Just type examples if you want to see a couple of examples of what you'd be getting. Like done for you, pre-written, pre-made, you'd literally fill in the blanks. Okay, I'll show you a couple of examples. So you're going to be getting these ones. You're going to be getting this seven Welcome day. The seven day Whoa. Raw vegan challenge. You're going to be getting the seven day raw vegan challenge funnel, which looks something like this. It's quite extensive. Bam, 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 bam. So I want this. You guys might even see some of your faces on here. Hey, okay. at Alyssa. That's Alyssa, raw food romance. Look at that. Hey. Okay. Made this way back in the day. Okay. So this is one funnel, for example. The other one that you get is the 30 day raw food challenge funnel, the epic historic one. Hey, how's it going with that car? And I don't think you landed on Whoa. this page by mistake. I don't think. Okay, that's that one. Pre made, ready to go. You just click, you just want to join, and you can sign on up. And then you're also going to be getting the book funnel to give away the free raw food book. You can change this to. Make it say whatever you like, change the colors, change the words, things already made. And when they click send me the book, it takes them to the next page and offer them an upsell to audiobook. When we talk about upsells, you also upsell them to your 30 day course, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so these things are already pre made, ready to go. You one click install. And if you need help editing, that's what we're here on Zoom for. Okay, so those are just a couple examples of some of the funnels that you get. But uh, if we need to create another special funnel, we'll do that as well. Now, the other thing you'll be getting in the box is the emails. Remember I said I send out all those emails to promote the damn thing? You're getting all the sales emails pre-written, ready to send as well, okay? The email, but that's not all. In addition to the sales emails, you're also getting, you're also getting the full automation sequence. So all you have to do is drag and drop your videos in. The text is already written. The sequence is already set up. There's a delay after each single day. The full automation is all set up. You just drag and drop your emails in and then we connect it with your funnel. We connect it with PayUp so that when people go and buy it, boom, they get the emails one day after the other. Day one, day two, day three, day four. Already done for you. Set it up. And lastly, this wouldn't be complete without the Facebook group. So you're also getting a Facebook group. You're getting access to the Digital Creator Inner Circle Facebook group. And there's already about 78 awesome vegans in there, vegan entrepreneurs in there. Some of you guys here might be in part of the inner circle right now, actually. I see some familiar names. So you also see access to the Facebook group. So now you're getting a checklist. You're getting the Zoom call every Sunday and Saturday, as well as Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. You're getting all my done for you funnels. You're getting all well, my best done for you funnels, the ones that relate to this. You're getting all my emails, sales emails, and the au email automations, and the Facebook group. And this is, we're going to be coaching together for 30 days together, all right? The price. What's the price? We got a good guess from there. So the price for this 30 days of coaching is 997, but you can register this week and you can get the beta price for just 497. But, but it's gonna be 997. Get it this week, it's 497. But here's the best freaking part. Here's the best part. Here's the best part. If you promise, you gotta tell me you promise. If you promise to give me a kick ass, genuine, honest testimonial once you make your first sale, you guys are gonna get it for less than 497. If you promise to give me a kick ass testimonial when you make your first sale, your first of 30 in the 30 days, which is if you have a $50 program, you sell 30 of them, that's 1500 bucks. If you promise to give me a kick-ass testimonial, you don't pay 997 for 30 days of coaching. You don't pay 497 for 30 days of coaching. You don't pay 397 for 40 days of coaching. You can get it all. You can get the checklist. You can get the Zoom calls. You can get the done-for-you emails. You can get the done-for-you funnels. You can get the Facebook group for just 297. 297, baby. I'll post the link here for you guys to get it. It's uh, make a 30 day challenge.com slash start. That's where you can go and get in on that. And uh, if you need, if you want us to just do all the tech for you, so you literally don't have to lift a finger, there's an option for you to add that to your cart. We'll have our tech guy take care of all that for you. So instead of spending you know, a few hours setting that up, it would just be, we'd take care of it for you and send it back to you when it's done. It's kind of like bringing your car in to get serviced. Um, and if you're wondering like what sort of software you'd need to make all this happen, the only software you need is a free software. You can use a free email automator and you can use a free uh, sales page like PayHip. It's free softwares. And so you don't need any other price on top of that. Uh, and if, uh, yeah, if you guys, again, just go to make a 30 day challenge.com slash start, you can get in tonight only for 297, but you got to promise, you got to promise to give a kick ass testimony when you make that first sale. All right. And that's in USD. Cool. So that's that. If uh, you guys have any questions, we'll get to Q&A here. I also wanted to mention, remember at the start, I told you guys I was going to give you access to how to get those free guides on how to get all the traffic you need and how to get uh, make all the sales you need. Well, there's two really, really good books I recommend. 
I'll post the link for them here. They will both take you to a, a site where you can get uh, these two books. They're both free. You pay shipping. It's like seven bucks shipping. They'll send you a big ass book to your, if you buy both, they'll send you two big books to your house. It's the best $14 of shipping you'll ever spend. Uh, those books are like the Bibles for how to get traffic and how to make a lot of sales with this product that we're going to be creating together over these 30 days. In addition to these 30 days, I forgot to mention, uh, there's going to be a huge emphasis on the social media content, like what to make on social media and what to say on social media so that you can actually drive sales to this. So we're not just going to be building the product together. We're actually going to be selling it as well. Okay, but I highly recommend getting those two books, uh, order those now. So then when we get to it, it'll, you'll be brought up to speed, so to speak. Okay. This is all starting on Sunday. So in a couple of days, uh, you want to make sure that you sign up today so you can get that special price. And then we'll start actually working together on Sunday. If you're in, if you're in, I'm in. Who's taking part in this 30 day challenge? Enrico is in. Yelena is in. Supreme Wellbeing is in. SB is in. Casey is in. Blade is in. Judith is in. Emmanuel is in. Jennifer is in. T Star, what up? Is in. Lauren Leitner is in. Lauren, you guys, let's bring Lauren on. Let, let, I've seen Lauren comment. Lauren, I hope you're prepared for this. I, I know you're not, but Lauren, you guys, Lauren's been working with me for a while now and maybe a month or two, maybe about a couple months. And she just started her own five day challenge, right? And she just did close to like a thousand bucks in her first month. Sorry to leak it, Lauren, but you did. Oh my God. Wait, yes. Oh, can you hear me? We, we can hear you. Lauren, were you surprised when, when, when it sold kind of that effortlessly for you? Yes, I'm still surprised. And uh, I finish it tomorrow. So I'm getting my closing call ready for them and getting the next round ready to go. But it is so much fun. I had no idea. So cool, Lauren. And and, and what exactly was your five day challenge? Everyone's probably wondering, what is she selling? my soul no i'm selling um a five-day detox for beginners okay so it's food um food based and yeah and i'm i'm quite impressed with these people <laughs> five, five day <laughs> detox and what was your price point 77 bucks 77 was the early bird and they all got in before boom touched the worm yes lauren in regards to helping other people build their five day or 30 day challenges. What advice would you give someone who's thinking of starting one? Uh, just do it. <laughs> just do it. Just set the date ahead of time. I did it. I set the date and committed a couple months ahead and then backtracked my schedule to organize how I'm going to get this done. And that was how that worked for me. Otherwise it just gets overwhelming. Boom. So are you thinking now that you've done this five day one, you're going to do another five day? I'm definitely going to do a five day every season. So I did a spring detox. So I'm going to do summer, winter, and fall. Oh, very cool. And so I will say this, and this is important, is that someone messaged me yesterday. You should have charged a lot more. People are paying tons for what you're offering. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> So Lauren, uh, you know, you, you could have done, you could have done a, a 90 day challenge, a 60 day challenge, a 30 day challenge, but you did a five day challenge, right? And, and, and it worked out very, very well for you. Um, do you think in the future at one point you might do like a 14 day one or 21 day or 31 or just stick to five? You know, I'm going to find out tomorrow how they're feeling. I think a lot of people want to continue. So that's going to give me ideas for right. um, doing a longer one. Well, I think with the longer one, you can build that relationship up over the course of the month. And then by the end of the month, you can sell them on a higher ticket coaching program. It's going to be fun to work on with you, Lauren. I'll, Thank see, you, I... you, I'll see you Sunday, right? Well, you know it. Curls Ooh. and all. You know I'll be there. And guys, Lauren is so in love with the book that I recommended here that she's even leading a book club to read the book together. So if you guys want to read the books together with Lauren and a group of people, I mean, you got to catch up, but she's leading a book club. Lauren, how many, how many weeks are you on now? Week two, week three? Um, <laughs> week two-ish, <laughs> week two-ish. Anybody okay. can join and I'll, I'll restart it if need be, <laughs> but it really does help to have the accountability to, yeah. um, make it happen because it's it is a great book and it, there's work to be done in there Boom. cool lauren well thanks so much for coming on and congrats on your success <laughs> thus far it's just the beginning it's just the beginning thank you lots to come cheers cheers so uh we have oh lisa 
Lisa is alerting me of something. I'm going to go test something out. Lisa said the link isn't working. Is it true? Who wants to go test it? <laughs> what happens when you go to sign up? I can give you I can give you a separate link. Probably for sure work. Uh, let's try it myself. It worked before and it worked for me again now. So that's really weird. Oh, thanks. That's really weird. It worked. It worked. Uh, it worked for me. Maybe. Oh, like the actual link didn't work or the. Oh, my bad. Apologies. Next time I will test the clickability of the link. Thanks, Lauren, for getting the good link. That's weird. Uh, didn't think to test that. The clickability. Test the clickability. We'll add that to the checklist, everybody. Step number 31, test the clickability. Okay. Uh, so let's get into some Q&A. I saw, I saw Kelly ask, I'm unclear of what my offer would be. Do you assist with this? Yes, absolutely. There is massive amount of offer clarity training over the course of these, over the course of the first few days. So we don't really go any further with you until you're clear of what to offer. So that's the very first thing, get clear on what to offer. You can really offer anything that you can talk about nonstop for 30 minutes. You can talk about something for 30 minutes, you can put together a program. The, uh, Blade's wondering, can we sign up tomorrow and still get the same price? No, this price ends at midnight, March 4th, ends at midnight. Well, 11.59, so it ends tonight. You can pay a little bit more tomorrow, It'll go up, but uh, you still get it'll still be cheaper than 997, but it won't be 297. So let's see here. Questions What about an early bird fee? Um, yeah, you could offer an early bird, early bird discount. Definitely. Is it better to start every month and only be able to start at that moment for students or to have it online? Anybody start at any point? Good question. This is the difference between like launching and doing an evergreen. For 30 day challenges, I find that it works really well to have. A start date it creates like that urgency. Uh, when I did do it evergreen, it didn't sell as well just because people, you know, Blade, for example, be like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow at the same price. If you have that deadline, people will sign up on that day because they can't miss it. The price goes up. So I was raising the price from, you know, 47 to 97 or 97 to 197, 197 to 297. In this case, it's going to be 297 to 397. So if you want to pay an extra 100 bucks, yeah, you can do that. But that's the thing, that's the reason for having a reason for having a, a deadline. So that worked. Um, Blade, if, if you left your credit card at the office, man, I mean, run to the office, dude, run, run, dude, run. You still got time. You still got, you still got, uh, you still got five hours, five hours to go. Uh, let's see if we're already in the inner circle, do we have to continue paying for the inner circle? Yeah. So after the 30 days, if people want to stay in the Facebook group, then they pay $20 a month. So the inner circle isn't lifetime access. Uh, what is the link to sign up? Uh, I'll post it in the, yeah. So the, the, what you do get lifetime access to is you get life, get, you'll get lifetime access to the recordings of all the stuff that we go over together. You get access, lifetime access to the checklist. The only thing you don't get lifetime access to is the Zoom calls and the Facebook group. But if you want to continue staying in the Facebook group, you can pay 20 bucks a month and you can stay in there. And if you want to continue getting the Zoom calls, then you can join our academy. Where does the audience come from if you don't have a website or subscribers, et cetera? So Stacy, good question. We cover how to grow your Instagram, how to grow your YouTube channel over these 30 days as well, in case you need help building audience. On step 17, welcome survey. Does that get sent in the automated emails to those that have signed up? Yes. Is it okay to actually share the price during the promotion period? It's not necessary to put the price anywhere besides the landing page. Just send people to the landing page. You don't need to mention the price anywhere. But the welcome survey would get sent out as soon as they join. I'm going to be sending you guys a welcome survey on Saturday. Uh, I heard you mention in the past doing a technology detox to create content. Are you able to quickly talk about this? Yeah. So this it's called the dopamine fast. Um, and if you want to create content, I mean, the only way to do it is to be focused. And the best way to focus is not have other input. And so that's why we've created three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to go on Zoom together. We're going to be on mute. Our webcams are going to be on. And we're going to be focused on creating content together. So those three hours of time, three hours a week is 12 hours a week, just creating content together. We're going to be able to create a lot of content. Uh, and you can put your phone on airplane mode if you want during that time. So Josh Font says, but wouldn't the price increase strange if you lower the price again every month? Um, no, because it's they, they missed it. If they want to be part of the June one, you got to sign up by June 1st, 47 bucks. If you miss it, hey, price is going up. And then if you want to join the next one, it's not June. It's going to be the July one is back to 47. So it gets people to act. Uh, how do we get video testimonials? Good question. There's a few different ways of doing it. There's a few different ways of doing it. One of the best ways is just to get people results. Like that is the best way. Just get people results. When people get results, they just come out of their shell and like they say, hey, I want to give you a testimonial. So that's the best one. Just get people results. And the way to get people results is to have a really clear step-by-step -step checklist of everything they need to do when they join your program. 
teach them everything that they need to do and then guide them and inspire them to actually doing it. So if you can get good at getting people to get results, you will get video testimonies just naturally. People will just, they'll be unsolicited. They'll just be like, hey, here's a testimony for you. But the way to go out and actually get them is when somebody does get a result, you can get them on a Zoom call. You can ask them how they got the result. And at the end of that Zoom call, you can be like, hey, by the way, would you mind shooting a quick like 10 second testimonial together? So that's how you could do that. There's another website called Video Ask. You can send them here videoask.com. And then this will explain how, to, how you can explain in videoask.com how for them to give you testimonial. I like to send my people a testimonial from other students and say, Hey, here are like these three sample testimonies that other students have given me. If you could make yours kind of like this, that'd be great. Thank boom, send it over. And then they watch those and then they make their testimonial based on what they just watched. And if you don't have any testimonials to send them as examples, just use testimonials from like other people or make your own. I've made my own before. I'll film a testimonial myself because back when I didn't have any, and I film a testimonial for Ted Carr. I'm like, hey, this is a testimonial for Ted Carr. So we'll say his course is great. And then I send that to my students and say, hey, can you make it like that? But easiest way is just to get people results. You can also get testimonials though, even if they haven't got results, like just asking, asking them about their experience, right? Like, well, how was your experience? Like we got some epic testimonials for our festival, our fruit festival. And like the festival wasn't about getting people results necessarily. It was just about getting people to have a good time, right? Meet some friends, come, you know, drink watermelon juice and dance and eat good fruit. And we got so many testimonials after just because people had a great time. And so even if someone doesn't get results, but they have a great time, they can still give you testimonials. Even without testimonials, you can still sell really well. Like when I first started, I didn't have any testimonials and it still sold well. I was making helpful, genuinely helpful content. That's the, that's uh, what happens if you don't finish creating your challenge in 30 days? Well, you still have access to all of the material and you'll, you can still get access to the Facebook group if you want to pay you know, 20 bucks for another month. So still be able to make progress. Realistically speaking, putting together a 30 day challenge, if you were to dedicate like, if you were to dedicate a total of like 15 hours to it, you could get a 30 day challenge done. That's like 30 minutes a day over the course of 30 days, especially if you have guidance, especially if you have help. That's that. Any other questions? Any other questions? I'm curious. I got a question for you guys. Is it okay? Is it okay if I ask you guys a question or do you guys want to keep asking me questions? I can ask you a question. Oh, Emmanuel, what's your, what's your question? I don't think Emmanuel posted in the Q and A. If you don't post in the Q and A, I can't answer your question because the comments fly so high. So post your questions in the Q and A box and we can get to them. Uh, my question for you guys is what was your biggest key takeaway? Your biggest aha moment that you had today? What was your biggest like light bulb? Where you're like, oh, ding, that makes so much sense. I want to know what that was for you. How do I get the book in Holland? Uh, well, you can probably get it on Amazon, dude. You can get it on Amazon. They'll, they'll ship internationally though as well. If you go to those sites, they should ship internationally. It might cost an extra 20 bucks or something, but or an extra 10 bucks, but they'll ship internationally. Or just get on Amazon. Is If I have more than one niche, can the challenges alternate each month? Yeah, yeah. Typically smart to like dominate a niche. Just dominate a niche. A biggest key takeaway was I found my niche. Sweet. Because key takeaway of send email with a video link. Nice. How simple, right? You key takeaway is start promoting your new challenge mid month. Nice. Uh, daily email and you don't need a private platform. That's my biggest. Cool, Kelly. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Stacy's key takeaway is that I can actually do it. <laughs> value spamming, crazy promoting. Yeah. The mindset you need for that, for value spamming is you need the mindset that nobody's seeing anything you post. Nobody's seeing it. It, it, it's like your efforts are in vain. You want to think like no one's seeing it anyway. I'll post it. I used to be so afraid of sending emails, but I'm like, no, I got freaking 15,000 people on my email list. 80% of them do not open the email. 85% don't open this. I know 90% of people don't open a dang email. How many unread emails do you have in your freaking inbox right now? I have like thousands. I don't open like 90% of my emails. So no one's going to open your emails anyway. Just send them. Who cares? What like, what's the list for? It, that would be like, I have an Instagram account, but I don't want to post on there in case people get upset that I'm posting. It's like, well, what's Instagram for? And like, well, it's for posting. It's for posting the post. Like if email's for sending, then send the dang email. Now, obviously you're not going to send 50 emails a day, but an email or two a day, no problem. No problem. If people want to unsubscribe, they can unsubscribe. Key takeaway was asking customers what they're struggling with, what they want, and then upselling a program created based on their responses. Boom, dude. That is the most valuable one right there. In terms of, in terms of big bucks, if you implement that properly, dude, yeah. Nicole saying, I'm not going to lie. It was nice that you sent emails about this call so many times because I opened my email and boom, there was a link to call right at the top. No need to scroll. Sweet. I also made a mistake. Usually I prepare a bit more for these and I sent an email like on the hour. So like at five o'clock, I should have also sent the email saying we're live. I was busy doing other things. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I will see y'all in the, uh, 
30 day challenge. Uh, who here is in? Type I'm in one more time. Let me see your names. Call you out. Who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Who signed up? Who signed up? Nicole signed up, I know. Enrico signed up. Lauren signed up. Yelena signed up. Uh, anyone else sign up that's still here? Uh, Razinkia could be in. Razinkia could be in. She's right on the edge. She's right on the edge. Jump. <laughs> Rosa wants to. Rosa, Rosa, you're in. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, it's got the question. Oh, got some questions here. Uh, they came in. Here in Italy, it's uh, 3.30 a.m. I want to buy the 297 program, but I don't have much money in the cart. I want to recharge my cart. Dude, send me an email saying 297, please. And we'll send you a special link with uh, some Italian love on there. Jennifer says, do you accept PayPal payments? Yes. If you want to make a PayPal payment, I can post the link right here and you can get in with PayPal. That's the link to get in with PayPal. Do you help with offer funnel or advise on that? Yes. Big time, big time, big time, big time. How many hours of time? Uh, it's like 30 minutes a day. It's going to be 15 hours throughout the month. That's enough time to launch this thing. Jennifer is in. Cool. Andrea, if I have more than one niche. Oh yeah. We talked about that one. Sweet. Okay. Uh, well, you guys are cool. Uh, Jessica. Oh, Jessica's thinking about it. Okay. Well, Jessica, I think I've, I've already talked enough, but let me bring on, let me bring on Yelena. Let me see what Yelena has to say. Yelena's been working with me for a little over a couple of months now. She just launched her first course. And uh, Yelena, what advice do you have for someone like Jessica or Andrea who's, who's thinking about it? I say that there's no need to think more about it. Definitely do it. <laughs> Ted, Ted's the best investment I've ever made in myself, for sure. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. <laughs> Thanks, Selena. I would, I, I would, I would want to ask, I would ask uh, Andrea and Jessica, like, what exactly are you thinking about? Yeah. So what's holding you back? Yeah. I want to know what exactly are you thinking about? Because if you look at the ROI, just from a making sense point of view, like the, like the logic of it, you put in 297, you make, say you make half the amount of sales, say you make 15 sales. What's 15 times 30? No, 15 times 47. I don't know the math on that at all. Any math? If you make 15 sales in a month, 47 bucks a pop, is that like 1500 bucks or something? No, 750 bucks, 700 bucks. So you put 297 and you get 700 back. I mean, there's some ROI right there. Uh, the time commitment. Oh, and being on camera and being ready. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. So being on camera. Well, what if I told you that, or what, what, what would you, would you be all in if you didn't have to be on camera, if your face didn't have to be on camera, would you be all in if you didn't have to put your face on camera? Or is there something else? Kelly is saying she's healing currently. Well, welcome out of the hospital. Congrats for getting out alive. Um, when you say you're not able to start right away, what, what, why do you think that is? So you can make videos without showing your face. In fact, my friend right now, he is making a dating course and he's not showing his face. He's not showing his face at all. He's showing slides with text and he's just talking over it. No one's going to recognize him. He's a nobody, but he's making a dating course. He's going to become a somebody. He's not ready, but he's inspired. So if you're inspired, yeah, you can, you can do this. Again, the why is, uh, the why is going to overcome any, any how. Um, but if you're thinking about it, hey, take all the time in the world to think about it. We're not going anywhere. I've been doing this for a few years now. I'm going to keep doing it. If, uh, if you don't take part in this one, you can always take part in the next one. But if you want to take part in this one, send me an email. And let me know a bit more about what you're thinking about. If you have any questions for me, and uh, we'll try to answer them before we start on Sunday. Okay, we'd love to see you on Sunday. All right, well, I think that's it for now. Uh, see you guys. Is there any more Q and A's? Let's check. Oh, Emmanuel said, "Want a live testimonial? I'll do it now if you want, like Yelena do." <laughs> cool, Emmanuel. Sure. Let's bring on Emmanuel. A lot of talk. Hey, dude, how's it going? Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm from Italy. I'm struggling a bit with the with the language that uh, English is my uh, second language. But uh, uh, since I attending the course creator academy with Ted, uh, it's, uh, it's um, a great investment on the person that uh, I, I made uh, many as the 420 a day that uh, had done really well. Uh, the diet too, and that uh, my life uh, changed Dude. only for one week of uh, Course Creator Academy. I'm struggling with one language, but it's it's great. Cool, it's, man. Uh, more great than uh, uh, day by day 
I see uh, that uh, the, 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 the they are, are better and better. Day by day, the days are getting better and better. I love it, bro. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it, man. We'll see you in the academy. We'll see you in the 30-day challenge. Okay, okay, sounds, okay. Sounds good? I mean, I mean. Cool. Sounds good, man. See you there. Bye. Cheers, man. Peace. Awesome. Well, guys, that's it. If uh, If you would like to sign up, there's the link. I'll post it one more time. I got to run. I will see y'all later. If you have any questions for me, send me an email. Just reply to all the emails I sent you earlier and it'll get right to me or my assistant and that will help you out. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. Peace out. Much love. Bye for now. Thanks so much for a great evening. You guys rock. Bye. 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 Thank you.